This marker? That's not an element. It's a bunch of different compounds together that make up this substance. That's the same with me. But take a look at this ring right here. Gold ring. Now, it is actually mixed with other metals to make it an alloy and make it stronger so we don't uh, bend it because gold is generally pretty soft as an element. But hey, let's just pretend. There's your element gold. And you can't break that down by physical means into simpler substances. But you can actually find out that there are little tiny components that make up this element here. And those components are called atoms. Now, an atom is made up of, well, okay, sorry for the crude diagram, but look, it's, it'll explain it. In the nucleus of an atom, or the center bound part of the atom, we actually have protons, which are positively charged particles. They're actually made up of other little types of particles called quarks. We won't get into that right now. That's even actually going below these subatomic particles into sub-subs, right? Oh, they're mesons and gluons. There are all kinds of these weird little particles that scientists are finding all the time. Now, protons and neutrons, neutral particles, that are also in the nucleus of the atom. So that's generally found somewhere, we think, maybe in the middle of the atom somewhere. And then, outside of that, are almost virtually massless particles in comparison to protons and neutrons, which have a very, very small mass to begin with. About one ten thousandth of the mass of one of these is one of these. And that's an electron. Where is it found? Well, actually, they don't orbit the nucleus like the planets do around the sun. That's not good chemistry. They are found in confinement areas called orbitals, uh, of which uh, the probability exists that an electron could be found there. Okay, so an electron, which is a negatively charged particle, is found just outside the nucleus somewhere. Now, this is a horrible diagram in terms of its scale, because I'll tell you what. If you were to take the volume of an atom, how big an atom is, let's say that a stadium, a football stadium that you're at, is the size of the atom. How big would the nucleus actually be in comparison to the rest of the size? Take a little ant, like a little insect. Put them at center field. There. There's your nucleus, which contains virtually all the mass of the entire confines of that stadium. And anywhere, maybe sitting in section S, row 27, seat 21, that's where you find your electron. So, again, the atom is protons, neutrons, electrons found in various places. You'll also see elements written in a certain notation that tells you what their mass is and also gives you an explanation as to how many protons are in the nucleus. Okay, here's sodium and you might see a notation where it has the number 22 up top in the top left hand corner and 11 down below. This one is called the mass number and the mass number just stands for, quite simply, the number of protons and neutrons inside that nucleus that we just looked at. This number tells you how many protons there are in the neutral atom and because it's neutral, if you have 11 protons here, you also have 11 electrons. So, this tells you the number of protons or electrons and that tells you the number of protons and neutrons. Okay, so, if I were to say to you right here, how many neutrons does this element of sodium have here, you'd say, oh, well, 22 minus 11, because that's protons, that's neutrons and protons, so the difference is 11. So it's got 11 protons, 11 neutrons, and 11 electrons. Now look at this one. Here's another isotope of sodium. Now an isotope is just the same element, but it has a different mass because there's a different number of neutrons. You can do that. If you have a different number of protons, you've got a different element. If you've got a different number of electrons, you have an ion that's coming up. But if you have a different number of neutrons, you just have an isotope, a different mass of that same element. Now look, here's sodium with a mass of 23, that's called the mass number of 23, and the atomic number of 11. How many neutrons? 23 minus 11, 12. 12 neutrons, 11 protons, 11 electrons.